训练远距离超凡书写力。Hello, welcome to Beyond Norm Topic Master. Our theme this week is leaving home or moving abroad. Do you remember the first time you said goodbye to your parents? How did you feel? Have you ever talked about moving to another country? Where do you want to go? These are just two topics that we are going to talk about. We have eleven questions waiting for your answer. To share your ideas and values with others. For question one, we can talk about which country we want to move to if we are able to immigrate to a different country. To immigrate is to move to a different country. If you really want to move to a different country, which country is it, and what are your reasons for moving to the country? For question two, we need to talk about whether we know anybody who has moved to a different country. Maybe it's one of your relatives. Maybe it's your friend. Maybe it's just simply somebody who you know. Share with your audience where they went, why they went there. And whether you know how they are in a new country. I have an example. Around 30 years ago, my sister and her two children went to Canada, and I still remember that day. My mother was saying goodbye to her at the airport. They heard each other and they cried. But after living in Canada for around 10 years. My sister decided to come back to Taiwan alone. Her children were still there; they had become citizens of Canada. But my sister decided to come back to Taiwan to take care of my parents. She think Taiwan is where she was born and where she grew up, and it should also be the place where she spent the rest of her life. If you know someone like my sister, you can talk about a person. If you want to ask me why she went there in the beginning, it is a good story, and that is exactly what Cushion Three is about. What are the causes to make people choose to move to a new place? For my sister, she chose to move to Canada for her children. What else do you think are the causes? For Cushion Four, well, I think this is something everybody remembers. The first time you left your parents, whether it is graduation trip or is camping trip, or you have to go to a university far away from home, or you are going to join the military, becoming a soldier. Talk about why you had to say goodbye to your parents and how you felt. For question five, I think it's a common experience. More or less, people talk about moving to a different country or a different city. What about you? What about your parents? Have you ever talked about it? Share with your audience what you talked about. For question six, in fact, quite many Taiwanese people have ever had this experience of walking in a different country. Share with others. If you have to walk in a different country, will you go? Or your answer could be yes, could be no. It depends on which country you have to go to. You can talk about how you will make the decision if this happens to you. For question seven, this is something everyone has to experience in their life. The children in the family have to leave their parents, leave their hometown sooner or later. In America, most children leave their parents at the age of 18, and they become totally independent. What about in Taiwan? What do you think is the age for Taiwanese people to be independent? And then you also can answer question eight: whether you think it is important for children. To leave their parents and become independent, to have their own family, they might have to move to a different city, even a different country. But do you think it is important to be independent, or it's better if children can stay with their parents in order to take care of them? 
For question nine, this is an English saying, and there is a very similar saying in Chinese. The saying is, "The grass is always greener on the other side." You can talk about whether you understand the sentence or not, and whether you agree with the saying. For question ten, we talk about cultural shock. When you move to a different country, you have to be in a different culture, and you have to be there for a long time. And usually, people experience cultural shock. But even if you don't move to a different country, when you and someone from a different family have to live together, try to give an example of cultural shock. For cultural shock, most people jokingly talk about what. Foreigners think when they come to Taiwan and the first time they see somebody chewing bitter nut, spitting bitter nut juice. There are many other examples. Try to find one and share with your audience. The last question is to talk about what you need if you want to move a different country and live there for a very long time. And you may also talk about why it is easier for people to move to a country than to move to another. For example, it is much easier for people to move to Canada than to move to the USA. Why? And in fact, it is not so easy to become a citizen of Taiwan. But why not? Okay, all the above are the questions you have to answer for the theme this week: living home and immigration. Enjoy Topic Master this week. 加入超凡远距，成就超凡英语缩写能力。